In this episode, it comes to mind that most of us get fed up of making the same old thing over and over again, year after year. Let's try something new. In this last picture, you can see I've made a slight alteration to the nose. And there was one other thing that came to mind. If we have a failure in the middle of the pond, we would need a rescue boat to uh, push us back to the bank. So we went to eBay, bought ourselves for a couple of pounds uh, a cheap toy boat. Um, obviously with these toys, the radio gear is no good. So we ripped it open, took out all the radio gear, put in ordinary standard gear, put it back together, and now we have a rescue boat as well.
<laughs> the stretch of water that we usually use is the uh, lake at Curzon Abbey. But the council at the moment are doing lots of alterations and they've shut down half the car park. It's a nightmare to park the car and to get to the actual lakeside. So we've decided to use the uh, model boat pond in Folkestone. We can park easy and it's quite a nice piece of water to use. OK, we arrive at the pond and as you can see I've made a uh, box to store it in. Uh, so let's get it out and uh, have a look and see what's what. First of all I'd like to say this has not been tested in the water before. Um, we need to know whether it's going to take in any water and how it'll sit on the surface. I'm hoping that as you increase um, revs on the engine the front of the boat will rise up slightly and sit on the water but of course until you actually do this test we are not sure. So we lower it into the water and we cross our fingers and uh, add a bit of power and let's see what happens. Well the first indication is that at slow speed it sits there quite nicely but as I increase the uh, revs on the engine it doesn't seem to want to lift out of the water. Um, this could be whether I need a, a larger float section on the front or to rebalance. But um, although it's a beautiful day and the conditions are perfect, um, it doesn't seem to want to lift out. Um, so, I suppose the only next thing to do is to uh, take it back home to the bench and have a look to see if we can adjust the uh, flotation. Um, what a pity. Still, until you do these tests you don't really know, do you? If it's an ordinary traditional type hull you would um, know what to expect. But because this is a one-off I was never too sure how it was going to go. So, back in the box and we'll take it back home again. Thank you.